OnePlus 5 leak sketches show us that dual cameras won't only make the back of the phone. Samsung DeX customers don't seem to be very happy with the experience, and Microsoft talks USB-C or the lack thereof in their Surface laptop. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, every single time that I play the Nintendo Classic and I look for Zool, all I find is Toad and then the princess. Anyways, this is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with something that we've been waiting for for a while. I speak Spanish and the Google Assistant could not speak it until pretty much today. So Spanish and French are the two new languages that are being supported by the Google Assistant. Now, I hate the fact that this project is still a work in progress. There is still very limited functionality with third-party services, but the great thing about Google is they continue evolving and I don't know, but Google Assistant continues to be a little more essential the more I use it, particularly with Android Wear. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Those of you that do not want to lock yourself into a contract or to any specific carrier bloat, as of today, the phone is available on pre-orders. You can get it on May 31st. And the price tags are obviously as expected, 729 and 829 pretty much. Yes, this is a very expensive phone, but bear in mind, this is a very good phone so far. I would highly suggest you watch our reviews and everything we've covered about it. Now, speaking of Samsung, one of the products that it's not me that's not recommending you use it, but uh, apparently consumers in Korea are not surprised at all with the Samsung DeX dock. The whole fact that you can turn your Galaxy S8 into a full-blown computer to a certain degree. As it turns out, this product is being sold like crazy, meaning resold by consumers who pretty much don't find the use for it. And they're selling it as cheap as $70 and for a dock that's worth nearly 200 bucks, that's saying a lot. It tells us that people don't really care about this added functionality. I can't say I add myself to the list. I honestly haven't tested it yet, uh, but I don't know. It's just, I feel that it's probably a little overkill for what people really want a smartphone for, but that's just me. Now let's move the spotlight over to the company that actually innovated with that technology, but it didn't really take off with Windows 10 Mobile. Microsoft has just chimed in over the lack of USB-C on their Surface laptop. According to the company, two things. Number one, they love their docking connector because it enables a lot of stuff over just one cable. I have the Microsoft dock and I do love it. I have to agree on that one. But then the problem is that according to them, the reason why they didn't adapt USB-C for everything else is because there are too many USB-C cables out there that are fake. It's just too open. And it leads to probably consumers complaining over their laptop not charging because the wire is the problem, but then consumers won't think of it that way. They'll think the surface is the problem. You know, I don't think that that's a good enough reason to not support USB-C, but anyways. And finally, the very hot news today have to do with the OnePlus 5. We are very close to when this phone usually launches, somewhere around June, July, and we've got some leaked sketches that show us a lot of hot things. Number one, dual cameras at the back. Number two, dual cameras at the front. And uh, there is this sort of like a ceramic back that looks a lot like the Google Pixel, only I feel it has a lot better taste than what we see with the Pixel. I feel that whatever OnePlus is coming up with and the fact that they're upping the ante and giving us dual cameras at the front will be an awesome move. But it leads me to the question of the day. Look at the sketches, tell us what you think. Do you like the design one? Number two, do you like the possible added features? In my case, I cannot wait to see what we get, but leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier or before the video is filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.